FCF, we are continuing our journey with what we're calling principles and processes, and we spent quite a bit of time in the book of 1 Corinthians. We're going we're to do one more portion in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, then we're going to jump to 2 Corinthians. So let me read you 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12, 13, and 27. It says, Just as the body, um, though one, has many parts, but all the many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we are all baptized by one spirit so as to form one body. Whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, we are all given one spirit to drink. Verse 27, now you are the body of Christ and each one of you is a part of it. So this, this is trying to give us the guidance of how God is going to carry out his work on earth today. So the, the, the church of Christ in Scripture, it's called different things. One, one word is the church, which uh, really means the, the called-out assembly. We have all been called out to become a part of God's forever family because we've been drawn to Him as He's revealed Himself in Christ. So we're, we're the church, we're the called-out assembly, but then we're called uh, the bride of Christ in other portions of Scripture, meaning that we are going to be the eternal companion of Christ that He's going to work with and through uh, forever and ever. But then functionally now on earth, we're called the body of Christ. Christ gave up his body sacrificially to restore human trust in God. And now we become his hands, his eyes, his feet. And so when you look at 1 Corinthians 12, that's the emphasis is that in this body of Christ, and it's just talking about any normal local church, there is intentional diversity of function, but unity of purpose. Uh, so, so the Spirit of God gives different gifts, different callings, different abilities, different ministries to, uh, to people that make up any given local church, and these functions are meant to be complementary. Now, now the, the, probably the easiest model for us to look at today to understand the concept of church or the body of Christ, uh, the church being the body of Christ, is an orchestra. Uh, I think orchestras are made up of, you've got your timpani, you've got your woodwinds, you've got your brass, you've got your strings. Uh, I might be forgetting something. But anyway, you, you might have anywhere from you know, 25 to 50 or more pieces in, in an orchestra, and yet they're all playing the same song, but they're playing different parts with different instruments, but they're all yielded to the one conductor, and they're trying to play the one composition. That is the way local churches are meant to function. God gives us different gifts, different backgrounds, different abilities, different talents, different spiritual gifting, as I said. But then we're to find our niche, our function, and to then devote ourselves to that particular church, its ministry, its missions, and so forth, in the hopes that Christ will have freedom to express himself to the individuals that make up that church and then through those individuals to people that are yet apart from Christ, but that God's going to use the people in that church to draw to himself. Now, the cool thing is it says that by one spirit. So we are inhabited, the scripture says, by the spirit of God. Once we put our trust in Christ and become his followers, now God's spirit indwells our spirit, and we will be more and more aware of his spirit to the degree that we saturate our hearts and minds with the word of the Spirit, the testimony of the Spirit, which is simply the Bible, the Word of God. So the more we have our minds renewed by Scripture, the more we can be partakers of the leading, the guiding, the uh, protection, the direction, the inspiration, the, the, um, the motivation, all these things that the Holy Spirit brings, as well as diversity of function. So we're not to compare ourselves to one another in the body of Christ. We're to complement one another. Uh, my role is not your role. Your role is not mine, but, but your role is crucial, and I'd like to think that mine is too. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave it there for today. We're each a part of the body of Christ.